iPhone? Samsung? Oh, iPhone, oh, okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Uh, okay. Is it a tutorial video or the first class is a new topic and then the second class can be uh, a tutorial then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to have a look at thirds. So when I say third, I mean numbers like this. This is what I mean. Okay, so you should write this word down. Uh, my Brazilian student, would you call these thirds or would you call them radicals? Or radicals, yes, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Um, so we say thirds here. But I know uh, North and South America it would be radicals. Yeah. Um, okay, so that is a third, uh, A plus B root C. Um, so what we're going to have a look at first, for example, is uh, you want to simplify something like this. Um, let me show you something that you might find useful to help you simplify in this. So uh, you learned this in uh, elementary school, in fact. It's called prime factorization. And I'll show you it now. And I'm sure as soon as I show you, you'll remember uh, learning this in elementary school, actually. So for example, if you have something like... Uh, um, 70. You can say 70 is 35 multiplied 2. Yeah. yeah. And 35 is 7 yeah. multiplied 5. So at the ends, you have 2, 5, and 7. So you can say 70 is 2 multiplied 5 multiplied 7. Now, do you remember the, ver the words we did last time? These are called remember factors yeah. yeah so this is useful for these problems this is called prime factorization these numbers here two five seven these are called prime numbers the prime numbers are two three five seven eleven thirteen you know these numbers? Yeah. yeah. What's the next one? No, 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 no. What is it? 17. 19. 21. Nope. 23. 22. 29. 29. And so on. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. Did you write this down? You got this? Do you remember doing this in elementary school? Yeah. I remember doing it in elementary school. Do you remember? No? No. No. Middle school? Or is this new? Primary. Yeah, primary school. You remember this too, yeah? We use it like a different way. Like this? Ah, okay. I haven't seen that. It does the same thing though. Yeah. Yeah. Did you learn it in elementary school or middle school? Elementary school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um okay, we'll go back to the example now. Sorry, can I do you have this? Uh, uh, the words are important, okay? So this is a new word, prime.
Okay. Um, right. So, what you do, you ready? Yeah, what you do is you take your 108. So, we could say that is 2 and 54. So, this is a prime number, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, we stop. 54 could be 2 and um, 27. So, this is prime, so we stop. 27 is uh, 3 and 9, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And nine is three and three. So what you do is you change this root 108 into two, two, three, three, three. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to group them in pairs if you can. So you have two of them here, which is good, and two of them here, which is good. So this would be square root um, four, yeah, and then square root nine and square root three. Yeah. So you put the root, I mean, you could put the root over each one, root two, root two, root three, root three, root three, but that's not helpful. Yeah. So what you do is you put the root over pairs if you can, because root four is two. two. So this is a two, root nine is three and root three is root three so two times three six so this will be six root three and this is the simplest you can make it six root three yeah do you want another example yeah uh, okay so write this one down and we'll do another one where's my coffee i need it oh have i drank it all i know Rats. All right. Uh, okay, write this down. We'll do another example. You got it? Not yet? It's okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, let's do, for example, root 245. All right. 245. Uh, that's going to be 3, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, nine, no, not 3. Uh, 5 and 49 so 5 is prime we stop 49 7 and 7 I want English yes root yeah root you know this word root sorry I didn't say it root is this Yes, okay. Right, so this is root uh, 5, 7, 7, which is uh, root 5, root, and you can put these together, 49. So, yeah, that's 7, root 5. Yeah. Okay, I think we got the idea for this. Let's go on to a different type now. So, next... Go back oh, you need to write it down? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have everybody. Yeah. Okay. Got it now? Yeah. yeah. All right, so the next type we want to do is uh, suppose I ask you to do something like this. Root 624 plus root 39. So, in fact, it's like the last question. You need to do uh, the tree, the factor, prime factorization on both of these numbers. So, let's see. Um, 624, uh, that would be 3 and 28. No, 280. Yes. No, 208. 208. 208. Yeah. Okay, that's three. Uh, this would be 2 and 104. Uh, this one we could actually do as 4 and 21. And 4 is 
two and two, and 21 is three and seven. Right, so these are all my prime numbers. So this would be, uh, uh, you can put them together as root two by two. So uh, that's a two squared if you want to write it like this. So we've done that one and that one. Do I have any more twos? Just this one. But I have three and three. So that's three squared. I still have this two. And then I still have this seven. Uh, 39. Three and, all right, so then we stop. So this one here is three, 13. So there's nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing there. Uh, so this one here would be two times three, root two and a root seven. And this one here is a root three and a root 13. Uh, yeah, something is wrong. In the first one, because 39 is, Mm. No, thir 39 is 3 times 13, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I do feel like something did go wrong. Yeah, there is. That's Maybe it's here. Let's check. Uh, 3 by 208, yeah? This star, this one's right? Yes? Yeah. 208 is 2 and 104. Yeah. And, and oh! Here's the problem here. It's not 21. 26. I'll do it in red. This is a 26 here. Mm -hmm. I'll get my pen back. Because the comment must be like there too. So <laughs> yeah, so you can put them together. Uh, let me just get pen, 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 pen. Okay. So in red, let me fix that. So that should have been 26. So that is two and 13, that's better. Uh, so now actually we have, we have an extra two that could have gone here and it's not seven, it should have been 13. Okay. Uh, so that's great because it's not a root two, what should be here? Just two, all right. Yeah, so two by three is six by two is 12. Huh? That's a long tree. Oh, thank you. So that's gone yeah. and this goes back to being a root like this. Yes. So this is four root tree root 13 and this is root tree root 13. And when I add them together, five. And root three and root 13, I'll just write it as root 39. There's no difference, there's no point. I'll do another one of these. Okay, so write this one down. Okay, another example, yeah. So uh, next example, it's very similar again. So this time it's root 500 over root 20. Um, yeah, so I would like you, this is just one way to do it, but I'd like you to simplify the 500 and the 20. So 500, Five and one hundred. One hundred. Ten and ten. Ten is two five. Two five. So that means root five hundred would equal. Let's see, root uh, that and that makes it two squared. That and that makes it five squared, and that is just a five. 
Mm-hmm. So that'd be ten root five. Ten root five. Yeah. For this part. Yeah. Oh. Uh, five. oh yeah, yeah. I'm not there yet. Uh, twenty is two by ten, and ten is two by five. So you have two, two, and five. So, uh, root 20 would equal, well, it'd be 2 root 5 when you do it. So, yeah, this original now becomes 10 root 5 divided by 2 root 5. So, this is great because you can clearly see these cancel and then 10 divided by 2 so the answer is five. Yeah? Okay, next type. Sorry, can I go down? Yeah? Um, 8 minus 9 root 21 minus 7 plus 2 root 21. Okay, so we multiply them. We do 8 multiply minus 7. 8 multiply this one and then we do this one multiply this and then this one here multiply this so like normal um, so this one would be 8 multiply minus 7 and then the next one plus 8 multiply 2 root 21 plus minus 9 root 21 multiply minus 7 plus minus 9 root 21 multiply by 2. Uh-oh, let me move a bit to the left. Uh, 2 root 21. So there's two here which are easy. This one is easy. Well, this one is the easiest one, actually. Uh, and in fact, this one is easy as well because these are the same. It makes it easy. Um, but anyways, let's go through it one by one. So 8 multiply minus 7. Minus, minus 56. And then 8 multiply 2 is 16 root 21. And then here minus 7, minus 9 multiply minus 7 is plus 63 root 21. And then here, minus 9 multiply uh, 2 is minus 18. And root 21 multiply root 21 is 21. 21. Yeah. Uh, so this here now will be minus 56 minus 18 times 21. And then these two you can add together. So that will be plus 79 root 21. Uh, does anybody have this for me? Uh, 400 on this part? Yeah. yeah. Minus 56 minus... Yes. Plus 79 root 21. Uh, minus... 400. Plus 79 root 21. Now, in this case, I'm finished. But sometimes you could simplify this part more. But here, when we look at 21, what is it? 3 and 7. Three and seven so uh, there's no point. No. There's no point. So we can just leave the answer like this. Mm. Okay, write this one down, please. Sorry. Yeah. 
I'll do another example of this one. Okay, you got this? Not yet? Okay, not yet. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's have a look at something uh, maybe a little simpler. Come on. There we go. Uh, 2 root 105 minus 3 plus root 105. So that's a little bit easier. Uh, there's just two multiplications to do. So we can do this one by this one. Uh, that would be minus 6 root 105. And then this one by this one here. That would be plus 2. And then root 105 by root 105 is... 105. So this is 210 minus 6 root 105. Uh, but the difference is, I think maybe we can do something with this. Yeah. So 105 is 26 by 5. 26. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So 21, 21, yeah. not 26, not 25 either, 21, <laughs> uh, 21 <laughs> by 5, that's okay, it's a long day, it's a long day, uh, right, uh, 5, we're done, 21, 3 and 7, ah, so <laughs> there isn't anything here, there's nothing here, because this would just be root 3, root 5, root 7, so actually it's finished already. All right, so this, this is the answer then. Okay, so the last type to do is dividing. So we've done simplifying and multiplying, so now we'll do dividing. Can I go down? No. Yeah, not yet? Okay, I can go down. Right, so let's have a look at something like this. Minus 10 plus root 147 divided by minus 2 plus root 3. So for these, the first thing I recommend doing is simplifying this part. 147 is 49 by 3. And 49 is 7 by 7. seven so it'll be 7 root 3. Yeah. Uh, because this would be root 7, 7, 3, which would be root 49, root 3, which is 7 root 3. So uh, that's good. That's really good. 10 plus 7 root 3 divided by minus 2 plus root 3. So this is a good start. But uh, does anybody know what I would need to do next? Next step. Uh, excuse me? Uh, yeah, just a sec. Uh, just a sec, sec. Question first, yeah? Question? Oh, you have the answer. Oh, okay, all right. I thought it was a question, right. So you think you know? Someone else knows? Yeah. Okay, why don't you tell me then? Yeah. Like uh, you have to minus ten multiplied by minus two plus three root three. I'd like to 
Maybe. What do you say? Multiply by minus two. No. Minus two. Like you minus, minus two plus uh, root yeah. two. Yeah. You want to get out of this. Yes, I do. So I don't know how what you call that first. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I should give you some vocabulary to help you here. So uh, this here is called a fraction. Okay. So uh, the top. Does anyone know the name of the top and the bottom? Is what? The bottom is denominator. And the top is numerator. Definitely write these words down. Numerator, denominator. Numerator and denominator. Okay. Numerator, denominator. Yeah. Okay. You got this? Yeah. Right. So, uh, Malik, Salik, what's it? Malik. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe with these words you can explain now. So what what do I do next? Uh, minus uh, ten multiplied by the denominator. Yeah, go on. Over the denominator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, squ square. Uh, I think I know what you're trying to say, yeah, but I not this. So you're but, thinking. Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. You're thinking put this this here and then put it here as well so on the bottom it's a square when you multiply them no, no. yeah so it's not it's almost this but it's not quite this you think you know it's like one uh, yeah one uh, minus two plus root three yeah. over minus two plus over three multiplied yes by you're so close but it's not quite this it's almost this it's almost this yeah now, you almost have it, um, but instead, hey, 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 come on, listen, I had to look over three times now because the two of you are talking, so please don't make it a fourth time or you'll go. Um, okay, so you almost had it, but uh, somebody remembered that for these problems, you multiply by this. Now, the point you were making was this is like one. Yeah. It is. Uh, but the only difference is we put the minus here instead yeah, of the plus. The sign, the sign yeah. Um, now, uh, the reason is, it will be clear in a moment, but just so you have more vocabulary, this is called the conjugate. So when you change this to a minus, it's called the conjugate. Uh similar word as in Portuguese, is it? What's it in Portuguese? Yeah. Yes, practically the same, yeah. And I'm sure numerator and denominator are the yeah. same nearly, yes? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Um, okay, just to practice some conjugates for a moment. So for example, if I had uh, three plus root two, the conjugate would be three minus root two. Um, if I had root 3 plus 4, the conjugate, minus, minus root, root 3, three plus, plus 5, five sorry. Um, the minus goes here. Um, if I had um, root 3, the conjugate, minus be minus root 3. Yeah. So in other words, you change only the root. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we'll go back to the question. So now we have to multiply the top, which is minus 10 plus 7 root 3, needs to multiply by minus 2 minus root 3. Minus, minus 2 plus root 3 
minus 2, minus root 3. Now, we'll see what happens now with the denominator. Uh, okay, so let's multiply the top. So that would be 20 plus 10 root 3 minus 14 root 3 minus 21. And on the bottom, that would be 4 plus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3. And at the end, minus 3. Now look what happens in the middle. Yeah. So this is why we use the conjugate to cancel this part. Okay, so on the top, we have minus 1, minus 4 root 3, and on the bottom, 1. So this would be minus 1 over 1, minus 4 over 1 root 3. So the answer is minus 1, minus 4 root 3. So this is the answer here. Okay, so we'll do one more example and then I'll give you the questions. You have this? Um, so just so you know, this process here, uh, its name is called, it's quite long, it's called <sighs> rationalizing the denominator so rationalizing the denominator means multiplying by the conjugate sorry yeah it's actually it's actually in the question four if you want to write it down yes 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 uh, but you need to know for the exam Okay, can I do the next example? I'll, I'll just write it down. Minus 63 plus root 504 all over minus 7 minus root 14. Okay. So let's have a look here. Um, the 14 will just be 2 and 7, so nothing there. Maybe we can do something with the 504. 504. Um, 99 by, no, not 99 by 5, uh, not by 5, by 4. 129 by 4, is it? 126, 126 by 4. Uh, I could do it this way, couldn't I? Uh, no, I couldn't. Uh, 120. And, uh, yeah, 126, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, 4 is 2 by 2, so we're finished. Uh, so, uh, this is definitely a tray and um, 42, so that's finished. 42. Is a tree again? Six now, root 14. Oh, we'll do, it, we'll do it the slow way. Uh, 14, yes, yes. And 14 is 2 and 7. Okay, so we have here, oops. Uh, root 2 squared, root 3 squared, there's another 2 and there's another 7. So as you said, uh, it'll be 6 root 14. Isn't that what you said? 6 root 14, yeah. So this is minus 63 plus 6 root 14 over minus 7 minus root 14. Now, I think I need to remove... Oh, no, I don't. Okay. So the conjugate 
would be minus 7 plus root 14 and minus 7 plus root 14. So this will be now minus 63 plus 6 root 14 multiply by minus 7 plus root 14 divide minus 7 minus root 14 minus 7 plus root 14 so uh, let's see what we get on the top and on the bottom let me just remove this bit here make some space Uh, okay, so uh, on the top we have uh, uh, 421, wow. isn't it? Is it? 421? No? 441. 441. 441. 441. And then add 21, yeah. 441. And then next is minus 63 root 14 minus 42 root 14 plus 6 multiply 14 which is 60 and uh, 84 okay and then down below is 49 plus 7 root 14 no hang on no sorry I'm doing it wrong minus 7 minus 7 root 14 plus 7 root 14 minus 14 uh, 4 4 1 and 84 so uh, that's uh, 5 5 2 5 yeah 5 2 5 minus 105 root 14 all over 35 Uh, equals 5 to 5 over 35 minus 105 over 35 root 14. Now I can divide by 5. So uh, the first one is 15. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Exactly 15. Yeah. No, 15 over 7. No? Uh, if I can, I can put a 5 here to make 7. And I can put a 5 here to make 105. And then seven can go into this fifteen times. So it is, okay, so it's fifteen. That's great. So fifteen minus seven root fourteen. Don't believe it. Um. It's three to three, three or seven. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> three, not seven. Uh, minus 3 root 14. Now, that seems better. Um, so I did... Uh, correct. Okay. Do you want me to mark the question? Yeah, so page 10. Um, okay, so in number 1... Y and Z. Uh, number two, um, yeah, Y and Z. Y and Z and X and Y. Two, 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 two. two. Last two in each. Yeah? No, no. Y Z Y Z Y Z X Y. There is no Z. Yeah. Okay, so you can start them now for um, a couple of minutes, and then we can do a tutorial in the next class.